morning, we're taking you inside the Johnson County Sheriff's Office Crime Lab. It's not only high tech, it's also very green. Our Sayed Shabir is live with details of a top honor just earned. Sayed. Hey, good morning, Patrick. You know, this is a really great honor for the Johnson County Sheriff's Crime Lab. Take a look here. They were just named this week as a 2013 LEED Platinum Certified Building. This is a big deal. There's not very many labs in the country that have this sort of recognition. And I'll tell you why. If you take a look at some of the video here, this is a wide look at the entire complex here. And you'll notice it has solar panels on the top that help with uh, bringing in light energy. They also have uh, a really extensive ventilation system where where they can recycle uh, the air that goes out uh, and warm that up and put it back into the into the building so that will uh, save uh, energy and cost with heating and cooling the building. They also have special lights in the building that have sensors on them that will detect daylight and if there's enough daylight in the room to light the room then those lights will shut off. But it's a very extensive design that they have here that will save money and also help solve crimes. We spend a lot of effort making sure that we're protecting the integrity of evidence and the protection of our scientists and we've done it very economical And take a look over here. They have a, a big monitor when you walk into the lobby here, and it shows all the different ways that they are saving uh, energy and preserving the environment. This is one of the elements that they have. It's called geothermal uh, heating and cooling. They have these pipes that go 500 feet down, uh, and that air is recycled through there, and actually it, it comes inside the building. So instead of heating the air from uh, 10 degrees like it is right now, you're actually heating it from about 50 degrees. So another way that this building is really... Uh, being cost efficient and preserving the environment. Reporting live this morning, C.H. Shabir, 41 Action News.